Hi there everybody, Ollie here, aka Secret Nimbus here, another episode of Test Pack Please Ignore. So at the end of last episode I had been working on my little automated uh, steel production. So uh, the smeltery is all going down here. Uh, I think this is still running quite nicely I think, so it's all going uh, pretty well. Have I got any steel in here at the moment? I've got steel dust smelting up which is quite nice. As you can see it's filling up the, uh, the barrel still, being important to my system. I do have the unifier set up now like so. What I think I've got to do is if I go to um, steel, I've got steel blocks at the moment and I need to come up with some kind of system for converting this automatically into, um, what's the word I'm looking for? <clears throat> automatically into ingots so I don't have to keep, uh, cause I think I can just go like that for steel block, yeah. So I need to come up with some kind of method for ch turning it from blocks into ingots. So I'll probably set up maybe, uh, do I have I've, do I have an auto auto crafter on this particular mod pack? Can't remember. Auto workbench? I think that's it. Yeah. So I'll probably just set up an auto workbench with an import and export bus on it. And um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'll set up a, a, a workbench with an import export bus on it. Uh, and then just have basically the steel kind of auto crafting from blocks into ingots. But that's something I can do off camera. Uh, what I want to do on this episode, if we go back to ME, uh, I want to get started on my, I want to get my molecular assembly chamber set up. So the first, so there's a few different blocks I need. It's the containment wall, the heat vent, the pattern provider, and the crafting CPU. Now I'm going to make one pattern provider to start off with. So if we go for pattern provider, uh, not pattern, pr there we go, ME pattern provider. So this is basically the, what you, this is the one, well, you need one of these per molecular assembly chamber. You can have more than one, but I only need one for, um, what's the one I'm looking for? I only, you only need one to start off with. So first of all, I'm going to have to make myself one of these advanced processor assemblies, like so. We'll get that smelting up drop it into the redstone furnace. Uh, what else do we need? So pattern provider, a storage cell, which is fairly straightforward. We'll drop that in. I uh, need two conversion matrices. So one, two, like that. Excellent. And then uh, that should be everything. Excellent. So we've got the one pattern provider we need. Uh, I'm going to need a couple of crafting CPUs, but I'll get building them in a minute. What I'm going to get going first is the containment walls. Contain any uh, assembly containment walls, so fairly straightforward, just gold, iron and surface quartz. So I'm going to start getting, these are the walls you need, so I'm going to start getting the structure set up. So let me uh, grab a load of these. So how much surface quartz have I got? I'm fairly sure I've got a ton of it, yeah, 290. So let's go downstairs and start, start getting this set up. So where do I want to put this bad boy? Uh, I might get it set up over here, so it's not too far away from my um, ME, um, what's I'm looking for, ME, uh, ME system, so uh, put it over here somewhere. Well, I could put it, say, I don't know, uh, here, I don't know. Now let's put, it, let's put it over by this wall, so um, I want to make it 4x4 four four, I think to start off with, so 1, 2, 3, 4x4, four four, like so. There we go, so I just need to figure out how many uh, blocks I'm going to need. So one, two, three, two, three, like so. So I don't want to make too many, so I need at least one, two, three, four, five. So let's make another 10, say for example. If I make too many, then um, it's not going to be the end of the world. I'd just be able to make it bigger in future. So let's make another 10, just to be on the safe side. There we go, another 10, excellent. And then we can drop down here. So let's see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, oh, I needed nine. So I only so I made one too many. Not the end of the world. So now I'm going to need um so four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty four. So I need now I need the heat vents which go on the outside in between all the walls. So uh, let me go and find the heat vent. So let me cancel that recipe, put this away. Need, and I don't want, I don't want to type it in there. I want to type it in here. So if we go to a heat vent, uh, ME heat vent. That's what I'm looking for. So I need iron bars, ME cables. So I don't have any iron bars. So um, I need, I think a couple of them, like so. Then I need some ME cabling. So. Need at least 24 of these, I think. 
Oh, I'm just about short. Oh no, I'm short on glass. So let me grab some sand real quick. Sand is something I'm not short of. So let me just drop some sand into there. Uh, then I should be able to start crafting these. So let me start going. So I need needed 24, which I've only got eight of, because apparently I'm out of iron bars, which is clever. So let me make a few more of them. So I'm supposed to make eight. So let me just make a load. Uh, make two stacks to be on the safe side. There we go. And then, so let me make, keep making these. How much have I got? 17, 21. Oh, that's where I've run out of ME cabling. So there we go. There's the last three I need. Oh, no, I only need two more. So one, two, like that. There we go. So I've got my ME heat vents. And then what I also need is a uh, crafting CPU. So let me see if I can find crafting CPU. Uh, crafting CPU, that's what I'm looking for. So I need some more of these ME advanced processors. So let me make, I think I can make three. Okay, so apparently my quartz cutting knife just ran out there, which is slightly annoying. Um, here we go. So let me make a new one of them. Um, I think I can make three. Let me just have a double check. So if we go down here, start putting the walls in like so. So do that and that put the roof in put those walls in so yeah I've got so I need to put my pattern provider in here somewhere like that and then I've got one two three four five so hang on one two three I can make seven all together oh, fair enough so let me pop up here um, where are what I'm looking for so I made one of them so far so I need to make another six god I'm, I'm totally telling totally myself lost I've gone completely the wrong way around my uh, my little base so let me um, close so what I'm looking for. So I need to make ME Advanced Processor. One, okay, now I have silicon, great. So quartz, uh, let me grab, say, another 16 quartz, something like that, start smelting you up. Um, oh, I should have enough glass by, glass by now. Oh, bloody hell, I did not mean to chuck away that sand. So I'll start smelting that quartz, make a bit more silicon. So I've got two two of these so far, so I need another five at some point. So let me go along to here. Okay, so now I've lost my knife. So knife, there we go. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, just, just enough. Let me swap that over for a second. Start smelting them up instead. Um, what I also need, so the whole reason I'm doing this is so I can start auto crafting things such as all of these different patterns. So, for example, probably what I'm going to have, have is another pulverizer and another redstone furnace, or maybe just use these ones. I'm not sure yet. And basically have an ME interface on top, which I can put recipes such as silicon on top. Sorry about the little bit of the wheeze. My hay fever is playing me up and I just cycled home from work. I'll just cough for a second. <coughs> there we go. That's much better. Uh, so what am I waiting for? So, oh yeah, I'm making the ME crafting computer. So how many of these can I make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent. So they're all ready to go. So hopefully I now I can drop down here. Um, I need to put all of these around the pattern provider like that. Then I can put that in place and it is all complete. And that's where all my patterns will go. So what I need next is some ME cabling to get that hooked up. So let me make some more uh, ME cables. If we go back to here and go ME cables. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, what I'm looking for? ME dark cable, ME cable. That's what I'm looking for. So I need, I don't know, maybe 12. Is that, that's all I can craft at the moment. So if we drop down here, hopefully that'll be enough just to pull me from there over to there. So start working you over like this. Come on, please be enough. Damn it, it's not enough. <laughs> so it looks like I need to make myself some more Fluix dust. So if we pop up here, uh, go to the ME cable, do some Fluix dust, which apparently I'm out of nether quartz. So if I just make a wee bit more nether quartz like so. Uh, what I also need to start doing is a, what I'm looking for, pattern encoder, I think is the next one. So this is basically what's going to allow me to uh, encode all of my patterns for the auto crafting. So do I have enough for that? No, because apparently I am out of basic processors. So we start making a few of them. Okay, apparently I only got one. So where's, where's the quartz again? Um, I'll start smelting some of you up like this. There we go. Uh, where, where am I looking for? So pattern encoder, I think that's the right one. 
minutes. Then let me make a few more of these bad boys. Okay, so apparently my knife's decided to disappear. Thank you very much, ME slash NEI. There we go. Make a few of these. Here you go, five will do for now. Put them in instead. I still need to Still need to take a trip to the nether and grab myself some more nether quartz at some point, but uh, I'll get around to that, I'm sure. So we should be able to make that apart from we're out of fluix dust. So fluix dust, there we go. Make a few of these. There you go, that'll do for now. Oh yeah, I need to make some more ME cabling first so I can go get the, that hooked up. Uh, now I'm out of glass, which is interesting. So let me grab some sand. No, I don't want glass, I want sand. Sand. There we go, drop some sand in there. I'll do for now. Um, does this could be enough ME cabling now? We'll double check. So, what? One, two, three. Excellent. So it's all hooked up to my ME system. So if we have a look upstairs, if we pop up like this and then go to the ME controller, like so, you can now see it's got 32 assembly containment walls, 24 heat vents, a pattern provider, and a crafting CPU. Marvelous. So where were we? So we're in the middle of making the pattern encoder. So can I make this now? Nope, because I'm still missing a conversion matrix like that. And I'm also missing a crafting table. So like that. Such as I asked to make the ME pattern encoder. Now this is a um, unpowered structure. So you can just plop it down, say there, for example. What we need to make next is some ME blank patterns. So if we go for blank, any blank patterns, there we go. So this should be fairly straightforward. Make five just to get going. I'll, I'll end up making an absolute ton of these to actually start craft, uh, auto crafting things. So the ME blank pattern's going in there. Then we need to come up with something that we'd like to auto craft. So, um, what we're we looking for. What do I make quite often that I'd want to say auto craft? So I probably want to make a basic, basic processor assembly like so. So, for example, oh, no, we don't want to go in there. We want to go directly over to here because I can just shift click things in. So, if we want to make the basic processor assembly, we need this recipe. And it will require a knife, some silicon, some gold, and some redstone. We can hit and code like that. We can then go down to here. Uh, go to the, uh, the ME heat vent like that. It will go into the system. Then, if we go upstairs, um, let me have a look. Gone the wrong way? Yes, I have gone the wrong way go to here um, what we're looking for so we want to go to so at the moment we're on stored craftable so I think if we go to here we've got four of these four of these in the system at the moment um, so four basic processors if we go to craftable why isn't that allowing me to craft it oh there it is that was weird um, so here we go now it gives us the option to craft it so we can say begin crafting one we go back to stored craftable and me so hopefully um, ME, is it crafting? No, I'm out of silicon. Okay, so this is this is where I need to do, so if we go back to ME, I've got to figure out which uh, thing I need now, which is the, I think I need what's, so ME terminal, I think it is. Nope. Uh, I think I want the ME crafting, not the crafting terminal, I want the crafting monitor, that's what I want. So this is gonna basically allow me to see what's going on in my, in terms of crafting in my ME system. So I've gotta hook this up somewhere. I'll put it, say, there for now. So, okay, so apparently that is done. So if we go to M, oh no, I want basic, basic, oh yeah, there we go. So it's actually crafted one. So if we try this again, um, basic processor assembly begin. Go back to, so, oh yeah, I forgot it didn't have ME in the name. So if we have a look on here, that's one at the moment. Can we see on here? Oh yeah, I'm missing silicon now. So if we go back to quartz, um, start smelting some more of this up. Swap this over. Once that makes some quartz, that should finish crafting. Excellent, there it is. So if we go back to basic, that's all done there, which is excellent. So that appears to be working. Uh, the final thing I can do is if I go to, if I make myself an ME interface, interface, uh, like so. Uh, so let's make myself a conversion matrix first, like that. Shift click, okay, so I apparently need an ME cable. Here we go, drop some, some, some of them in. Make an ME interface, and then what I want to do is go over to, say, the, um, does that got something around the back? It does have something around the back. But what I want to do is just wrench that up first. Um, uh, it doesn't really matter about the power being there for the moment, so I'll put an ME interface down there. Have the int have the blue on the side as well. 
So then what I can do is, if I go over to here, if I go to ME, so if you want to do something using a machine like a pulverizer, so if I go to basic processor assembly like this, um, why, while you can't say, for example, um, if I go to ME basic processor, uh, while you so clear that for a second while you can't directly say for example um, you can't shift click into the pattern provider what you can say is one basic processor assembly one uh, sorry one basic processor assembly and one me basic processor this does require you to have both parts here hit encode so at the moment it's saying one me basic processor and one basic processor assembly why you can't put that directly into the terminal the big uh, molecular assembly chamber downstairs what you can do is put into the oh no wrong one wrong put the blank pattern put the sorry put the encoded pattern into a processing slot in an me um in an me interface next to the machine that you want to do the job i've just realized that that's actually the wrong one for what i want to do here so let me destroy up this carpenter drop down the alloy uh, not the alloy smelter i want the me interface um there set the input to there I'll just put down that alloy smelter back for now. I'll probably move it around at some point. Then put the um, encoded pattern into there like so. Um, is that right? Yeah, so put the encoded pattern into there, telling it that I want the machine here to smelt up one uh, basic processor to make one basic processor assembly. So if we go to, then go to stored craftable, is it going to pop up? should pop up it's like right next to it oh no i need to connect it up to the me network don't i do i have any me cabling uh I, excellent i do I just realized that this processor isn't actually directly as directly connected which it is now so if we go back to stored craftable you can see that the basic processor is now popped up because the uh encoded pattern is there in an me interface next to a compatible machine so if we go back to me i oh know if we go to basic processor we have two in the system and we have two uh, basic processors so if we go to stored craftable uh, we want to craft one of them so if we hit begin we should now go over here is it doing it so I'm saying create one basic processor so it should in theory have dropped a basic um, unless it's got to be on top and I'm doing this totally wrong which could be a distinct possibility um, I thought I was doing this right because it's got the input input to the right there. It should be the right. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not sure I've got this working correctly. That should just smelt it up in the redstone furnace. And I don't know why it's not. Hmm. So one ME basic processor makes one basic processor assembly. Oh yeah, that should work. Why is that not working? Uh, let me try wrenching this up and putting it on top instead. So let me get rid of you, put the ME interface down like that, put the blank pattern back inside. Is that going to do it now? Let me cancel that. Let's try again. So let's craft one. Is that going to do it? Oh yeah, it did it that time. So for some reason, because it was like on its um, on, it needs to be on top for some reason the ME interface, not on the side. So that's how you do that. So we've now got it set up for machine. Um, so what's the, what, <clears throat> what's the word I'm looking for? So for common things, I can put things like glass and silicon in here. I can put um, uh, put one on top of the pulverizer. Have uh, quartz being no, I want quartz being smelted up for silicon in there. I can have things such as grinding. If I want, if I need more quartz, I can have uh, this grind. Uh, tell the system to grind up uh, quartz to automatically make. Uh, sorry, grind up quartz to make the quartz dust, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I've got my auto craft. The basics of the auto crafting setup. It will become far more complicated the more things that I want to auto craft. But that's the very basics. Got the assembly chamber set up. I've got the uh, processor. Well, the um, what's the word I'm looking for? The uh, machine processing setup which is all pretty cool so i'm gonna leave the episode there as always guys it's always great to see you comment and like if you enjoyed the episode apart from that thanks for watching and i'll see you next time goodbye <laughs>